A lot of you have asked to do a comparison video between Tempo Labs and Data Button that which one we should choose. Both of these tools are very similar actually the way they work. I have created separate dedicated videos for each of these tools so you can just watch those videos on my YouTube channel. But in this video I'm actually going to do a complete breakdown the way these tools work and I'm actually going to suggest you the best tool that you should use out of both of these tools. So before you start please subscribe to this YouTube channel and please do click on that like button as well. Our goal is to reach 1000 likes for this video. Alright so when we talk about web-based AI code editor so the most popular one so far actually bold.new then there is lovable.dev then there are a few others as well but bold.new and lovable.dev actually you can say these most of these are actually most popular ones and then very recently we saw that both of these tools like tempo labs and data button actually showed really good promising features so now tempo labs and data button are actually kind of a new kind of ai code editors that actually works very differently than bold.new or than lovable.dev actually work so both bold.new and lovable.dev actually work like a normal code editor you give it a prompt it does something that you want it to do but the way actually tempo labs and data button work you give it your prompt you explain what you are actually going to build and it understand your idea and then it create a complete plan for you just like a normal software engineer this is an ai developer for you that understand your plan and that actually understand your project and creates a complete plan for your project before it starts working on your project so in tempo labs when you give it requirements it actually creates this very detailed requirements for your project and after that it creates this user flow diagram for your project which is really really helpful if you're building something simple like something like a basic to-do list app you won't un understand the actual significance of this user flow diagram but if you're building something complex where there are like hundreds and hundreds of different use cases then this kind of user User flow diagrams will actually help you a lot traditionally we build this kind of like user flow diagrams using something like microsoft visio or there are like a lot of other like user flow diagrams kind of tools but we build these diagrams from based on the requirements that we have so let's suppose if you have 10 pages kind of requirements and now if you want to like build a user flow diagram manually it will take you so much time to like build that manually but tempo lab actually does that for you so it understands your requirements it builds a user flow diagram for you after that what it does it creates a wireframe for your project it creates a complete front-end design just like figma for you it gives you all of those tools to like create and modify this design for your project so if you see like this looks very similar to me well, just like figma and it gives you like all of that freedom to know like further customize draw more screens draw more like elements inside your project and also like it comes directly within with like a figma integration so that means you can actually bring your figma design in here but i mean it, it created that this design based on this input that i gave like based on like very simple input then actually it created this requirements and then after that it created just user flow diagram and now it actually created like this very detailed wireframe diagram and like like created all of these ui elements and then of course like it then set up this project and then after that the project is in functional form and all of that i am not paying anything to tempo labs right now I'm using this free plan and I, I built all of that using my free plan and it gives me 500,000 daily tokens to like build anything that I want and this is more than enough for me to like maybe spend a couple of hours every day to my on my project so I can spend like have good enough kind of prompts to like build something using these tokens now the way data button works that is a little bit different than the way temple apps work so it asks you like you start with like let's suppose creating an app so you simply just click on a new app after that you explain your idea let's suppose create a to-do list app this is like the basic thing after that it will ask you to like provide requirements now so you can provide a requirements document in here after that it will ask you that if there is any inspiration so you can actually provide further details about what sort of like software already exists what sort of like solution that already exists that you can actually provide that after that then there is an integration tab in integrations there are really nice features that you can if you have to like build authentication system every project almost needs an authentication system for that it gives you like option to either choose firebase or superbase so yeah these are like most popular ones so you can choose one of these after that it gives you like database options to use either firestore or superbase again then you can choose for payment gateways you can choose stripe or lemon squeezy after that then you can like first storage you can choose again between fire firebase to superbase and then aws and then after that like google cloud so you can choose like these any of these options so it is kind of like done for you thing so like you choose these options and if you have to like now build that authentication system inside your project all you have to do is just provide like api keys and like your database keys and 
and anything that is required to set up that you just need like need to provide that and rest of that rest of the development will be handled by tata button so it works like seamlessly and after you create your project this is how it actually looks like it creates separate modules for your project so right now your project is divided into in these different modules the first module is creating a modern landing page with hero section and key features second module is setting up firebase authentication systems with email and google sign in third module is creating a user profile and then like further on then there are like further modules it will actually work on each of these modules you can like let's suppose click on that like let's suppose start task and it will actually start building that particular module and if you want to like build on any previous module you can simply just click on that resume task button or if you just want to like like change that plan this project plan you can just simply just change that but it understands your project now better and it has like divided your like you can say like divide your project into into different modules and now it is easier for you to like work on your project you can add your further custom modules you can change modules in here and you can just like change your plan to like develop your project while on the other hand temple app has a little bit different so in here you have your requirements in here so data button had modules temple app has requirements so in your requirement section you can actually just like add all of your features that you want to build and once you update this is actually the good thing about temple apps once you update any of your requirements here it will actually update your user flow diagram after it updates your user flow diagram then it will update your design so your design will be updated based on you update your requirements document in here and then it will just like update your user for like your design and similarly it will just like then update your code so you update your requirements here you keep track of your requirements what you are actually building and then based on that it will update your user flow diagram it will update your design it will update your wireframes and then after that it will update your source code so yeah th this is like very seamless process that now the complete software development framework or you can say the complete software development life cycle is now being managed right here within in front of you within your browser so you just like update your features and then you can just simply press on generate and it then it will update your user flow diagram then it will just like update your design and it will just like update your code so all of that is interconnected seamlessly and you can just like do that like with by just like simply as simple as like changing text in here while in data button i mean of course that approach is is very different than we have here so in tempo labs we have like more functionalities or like we have more clarity about our project in data button i can i do not have this kind of like design in front of me that the way i have in tempo labs i do not have that in 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 here i cannot this design is very similar to like the way bold.new actually works so this design i'll have to like still like go to go through the code and then like change this inside code but in tempo labs that's different in tempo labs i can actually directly change that inside my source code or i can simply just like change my design directly in here by simply just double clicking on that any of these sections and then you can see this is actually here directly it will change my tailwind css code i can change any of this design from here i can create a new storyboard i can create new ui design and then i can create the way actually i want so also like i have very detailed user flow diagram which is actually giving me a clear perspective of my project current progress and everything that i have i like sh all of the features that i have listed here so if you ask on an honest opinion i will highly highly recommend you using temple app secondly one more actually reason to using our temple apps is pricing so temple app is if you're using like free plan so free plan is enough for good enough for you to like work on a project uh, it gives you like a daily token limit of 500000 uh, tokens while data button actually gives you 20 credits and it costs around if you're like buy a paid plan it costs around 20 dollars per month but free plan is also good enough to like work on but still it will give you like 20 credits so that means every prompt that you give it it will cost one credit so the again this is like uh, enough for you to like work on a basic project but if you're working on something serious you'll have to of course upgrade, upgrade to this plan similarly temple apps the these credits are not enough for you to like work on like for whole day but these credits are just like enough for you to like give very basic prompts but still if you want to like upgrade that you can upgrade but i think these are good enough for you to like maybe spend a couple of hours 
two three hours on your project every day and you can like build something decent out of it but i think i i like this approach this is actually a proper a kind of you can say i have like a proper software engineering team this is actually this team that gathers this is my planning team in here that actually gathers requirements manages requirements this team actually designs diagrams for me and then this this, this team actually designs proper design front end design for my project and then of course then i have got like a full stack development team in here so yeah so in terms of like what i miss in tempo labs is actually the freedom of having those integrations that i have in data button that i can have firebase i can have either firestore for for first cloud storage i can have aws in here in data button i can have stripe payments element qz in here but i i'm actually missing that inside tempo labs but i think i will still prefer tempo labs because the way this works is i prefer this if this is more visual this is more user friendly this is more easier for me so my vote is with tempo labs data button is amazing it gives you all of those functionalities like integrating stripe integrating like firestore integrating like let's suppose if you want to like use aws in your project so you can do directly without like having any hustle so i mean it's packed with functionalities but uh, the entire software development life cycle works i am more happy with tempo labs and i suggest you using tempo labs if you don't want to like buy a subscription so i think tempo labs is good enough for you to use a free plan so i think with, within free plan you can build like decent kind of software it gives you enough credits every day to like work on it so yeah so this is actually my personal opinion and even if you if you like in your next question might be should we use bold dot new or should we use tempo labs we will create a separate video about that between tempo labs and data button i choose tempo labs that's a tricky question stay tuned for next video on this topic i see you next video bye bye